or days off. Ooh. Like forever. What is up you guys? It's your girl Chami and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something really fun. Well, hopefully it will be fun and really exciting. We are finally converting, let me just show you guys, our living room wall to a fireplace. So when we were looking for a house, so that one. So when we were looking for a house, we didn't know at that time if we wanted a fireplace or not. And Raven told me that it's easier to actually have a fireplace built instead of taking out a fireplace. So I think I kind of decided that I wanted a fireplace in the living room. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me just unbox the fireplace that we got. So it's this one. I hope I don't cut myself today. So if you guys want to see a DIY on how to build a fireplace, go watch this video. our fireplace everybody my hair looks crazy it's because I just got off the shower and my hair is always crazy when I get out the shower By the way, you guys, we were supposed to be in the Philippines right now for one of my friend's wedding. But, but since a lot of things happened and that was pushed back for next year, we're just making a fireplace instead. <laughs> Oh, by the way guys, yes, I do have an ace wrap because we went snowboarding yesterday and I kind of turned the wrong way. Hence, I kind of sprained my ankle. So this mantle, we got it from Home Depot. And if you guys are interested in where we got our DIY fireplace materials, I'll link them in the description box down below. So go check that out. Raymond is currently making his way to Home Depot because we didn't realize that we didn't bought screws for the mantle. We thought it came with it. And apparently it does not. So he's currently out and while he's out, my task is to put these pebbles and stones into the fireplace.
We're making progress in here, guys. The mantle is up, the fireplace is up. Now we are gonna be putting the accent wall in place. So we got this tiles. They kind of look like, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. I should probably tear the plastic, but it kind of does look like a brick because we're trying to achieve a brick wall around the fireplace. Yeah, so originally we wanted a sandstone color for our wall, but we couldn't find anything and this was the second option that we had in mind. Guys, so I was talking for like good two minutes and wasn't even recording. So as I was saying, this is a lot harder than I thought it's gonna be like. We thought it's gonna be the fireplace itself that's gonna be really hard to do. But apparently, putting the accent wall with these tiles was really hard because it's so hard to cut it. I mean, there's the progress over there. And I was so positive that we're gonna do this in two hours. Time check, it is 7.30 p.m. We are almost done. Well, I wanna be optimistic, okay? We did it, guys! I don't know how we did it, but we finally finished doing this DIY project. We finished building the fireplace, the mantle, and of course, the whole accent wall that took us freaking forever to do. It's so hard to cut the tiles. I ended up having like six cuts in my hands, and Raymond probably has like three cuts in his hands right now. We didn't think well, I personally didn't think that it's gonna take us this long to do this project, but considering it's our first DIY for this house, I feel like we did a pretty good job. But yeah, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I cannot wait to put stuff on top of that mantle. We still have to find maybe like a very, very low table, just so we have something to cover those wires underneath the fireplace. And I think that is all for today. If you guys love this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It will really, 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 really make my day. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>